Well, how do their chums to I, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm going to be running the, the Grand Tour 2023. So let's um, head on over into the actual verse. Well, I say the verse. I need to hit up the internet to get our next coordinates. Don't I, people? So let's hit that one up. And uh, where are we? We need uh, that one on. And let's uh, scroll on down on the old screen here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so where did we get to last time, people? I believe... Oh, that yeah, that one's gone now. We've done that one. We've done this one. We're on the last stage. And this is a Maxim US-88. Let's have a quick look at this one. There we go. Maximus... Maximus... Maximus 88. Sorry. Maxim... Maximus. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Let's start scrolling down and see what we've got here. Oh, this looks pretty darn freaking weird, doesn't it? looks very organic looks like some sort of living ship farm or something doesn't it that looks pretty darn groovy so yeah we're gonna be heading there people is it in euclid it is in euclid brilliant lovely job scrolling down a little bit further we've got a few pictures of the base don't want to have a look too much at the base because i'm gonna go do a base tour i guess meet the builder maximus 88 and he's on xbox glitch micro builder nice Specializing in micro builds, natural builds, flora, integration, and interior design. Maximus 88 participates in base building events and challenges with both the Interstellar and Index and the Pan Base Galactic Federation, the PBF. Current leader of Crimera Corp in game faction. Nice. Since Oh, since 2022. Playing No Man's Sky since 2018. Max is looking forward to working with everyone and seeing all the creativity. And they have a Discord link. If there was a YouTube link, I'd hit it up. But no YouTube link. Right, okay, right. Well, there's my coordinates on the screen there. But now I need to jump on over into game and uh, see if I can um, put in the coordinates inside of the portal. So here we go. We're inside of game. Let's just spin this around. Let's have a look, see where I need to go. Out of the door, that would help, wouldn't it? Out of the doors, Captain Steve. Brilliant, eh? Oh, look at that. It looks like my um, game image has moved slightly. One second. So, game image, kaboom. I need to tap that up a bit. There we are. And I think that should do the trick. There we are. Brilliant, eh? Okay, right. Let's key in this code. Activate portal. Right, you know what? I'm going to just take myself off the screen for a second. Kaboom. And so then you can see what I'm keying in. Right, so here we go. We need to have a bow team and boat face. Chikapow. A Sunday set. Lovely jubbly. And a waypoint. Chikapow. And a whirly man twirly. Black hole. Chikaboom boom. Right, followed by another Sunday set. A black hole. A waypoint. A flux capacitor. And the last four digits, people inside of the viewerverse. Have I missed one? I don't know whether I have. Okay, well, let's have a quick look. See, let's see if I have or haven't. Dragonly Fly, Chikapow. Wigwam or TP. Lovely jubbly. A whale or a fisherman fish fish. Where are you, whale or fisherman fish? There you are, right next to the TP. And then a flux capacitor. There we go. Nope, that's all right. We're all good. Cool. I can bring myself back in again now, people, can't I? Lovely jubbly, boom! There I am, back on the screen. Right, well, let's head on in, shall we, peeps? I guess. Jump on into there, boom, and we're in. Right, well, while that's going through there, I might as well have myself a, a lovely cup of tea. And the nice thing is, I've actually put the um, game image, you know, over, over which whatever way I can't point there. <laughs> and there we go, so we can see me warping as well, so that helps. Oh, yummy, yummy. Right, let's just set that down there. Oh, it's taking a little while to load, actually. I'll have another little sip. Why the fudge not? So I hope you guys in the viewer verse are hitting up these grand tours. It has given me something to do inside of the verse. But what I would say is there is an update fairly soon to drop. Oh, I've arrived at Kated. Yes, well, I think there's an update fairly soon to drop with all my speculation. Let's just jump straight back over into the old game, shall we, people? Anyhow, so there we are. We've arrived. We've arrived at Kated. Right, so let's have a look for this base, shall we, people? I think it was right in front of me. Yeah, there's a base marker somewhere over there. That's not it, though. 
All right, well, I guess that it's off planet then or something. We're just going to fly up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, and hopefully we can spot this base. In fact, I think it's on this planet, so I'm not too sure why I couldn't see the actual base marker a little bit more clearer than what we were seeing just then. But let's head on up. Let's have a look-see, see if we can find it from when we're up in space. Well, up in the air. There it is. There we go. Let's head on over there then. Can I actually uh, lock on to that, though? There we go. I think I have. Lovely. Call you. Fly on up. Fly. Oh, it's only nine seconds away. We're about there, people. Five seconds. Okay, well, let's fly down a little bit slower then. Let's slow this down. It's not too far from the portal, this one, people. Heck yes. So that's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? All right. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's touch them down. Let's put boots on the ground, shall we, peeps? Heck yes. Meow. Okay. All right. Nice. And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I, 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 I was worried for a second. Well, I was standing a little bit hesitant because it didn't look like it had rendered people. However, I think it has. I think it's all there. Let's head on down this way. Oh, my days. This is pretty darn freaking gnarly, isn't it? I love your winding staircase. That's pretty darn groovy. Groovy, baby. Heck yes. Very nicely done. Oh, I like this little sitting area here. What the heck is this that I'm looking at right now, people? Is this... This looks tiny. Teeny tiny. So yeah, it likes to make in micro builds. I can see that. That's nicely done. I like the use of the decal in the background there. Very cool. Very nice. So it looks like some of the bits have been shrunk and did down and, and you... I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like it. And all this at the top here. Attention to detail. To the nines. Heck yes, just in that one little groovy area there. Oh, look, there's other stuff that's just appeared over there yet, peeps. I haven't been over there. Well, let's head on up here anyway. Let's see the main piece de la resistance. You know what? Let's go into camera mode. So I'm a little butchers at this. Because this is, this is crazy. This is like, I don't know what this is, but this is tiny teeny. I'm not going to be able to climb all the way up there. But I love the fact that you put little blob creatures in there. Made it look like a little natural habitat for the blobby dudes. Heck yes. That's pretty darn sweet. Okay, well let's um let's head on up anyway. Let's see what I can do around here. So yeah, I can't go in. We've got some nice little seating areas here. I'm loving all this rockery. Very nicely done. Very cool. Little seating areas. I like your candelabras on the centre of the desk. They look really nice. The use of the cups and stuff. It looks quite sort of cosy, doesn't it? It has a sort of lived-in sort of feel to it. What the fudge is going on here? You got bartenders? You start decals on their faces as well to give them like little... Okay, let's go into camera mode again. Because there's so much detail in this one, I'm having to use the camera mode. Well, he's giving them little, little cyclopsy type eyes. That's nicely done. Like it. Very cool. <laughs> and yeah, decals on the back here. Little potted plants. I'm loving this little potted plant, actually. That's lovely done. Heck yes, it is. Your micro build talents are freaking awesome, mate. There's a little arm coming up there. Like putting a spade in something that's pretty clever and there's like a little cookware there some little plants oh i love the little fireplace like it's an oven oh and like a little microwave very cool oh your kitchenettes are lovely mate heck yes oh look there's a there's a large refiner up there not so large are you large refiner <laughs> oh this is so epic this is so cool I'm really impressed with this, people inside the view of us. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, isn't it? Oh, man. And look, there's even another little sort of like oven going on over here. A little sidebar. I like all this at the top as well. That's quite groovy. Very cool. Very cool. Very awesome. Look at the tables. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, right. And a little A board there. A little sandwich board. Yeah, you've got fish for sale, people. Okay, um, that is really quite lovely, isn't it? That's really quite something. Okay, well, let's head on over, because down these steps, it looks like there's another part to this. It's like I came straight off of that platform, and I didn't even spot all of this down here. So we've got a nutrient processor there. Brilliant. Look at that poster. It's sort of, like, glitchy. Man, that looks kind of fun, though. Okay, what's this? All right, let's go back into camera mode, because we've got to have a better look at it. Everything is so small, and so attention to detail-esque in this base. I'm liking the use of the screens. I'm not too sure what this is, but it looks all right anyway. Maybe it's just picking up 
I don't know, water or something. But there's a, a little gun base there. you got a little blob dude that's hopping around in this circle. Pretty darn sweet. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Imagine maybe some sort of fueling station for the ships. I don't know. But yeah, pretty darn sweet. Cool. Or just a little lunch area. Who knows? Okay, but that's that's pretty darn sweet. I like that a lot. That's cool. Put this over here. I like the way you've built the landing pad up. That looks pretty darn epic, actually. I came straight off of here and didn't really even look, but yeah, nicely done. And then you got this over here, which has got your teleporter in. Look at that. Oh, that's so groovy. I really like that. That's really cleverly done. Ah, oh, that is nice, isn't it? That's pretty sweet. So they, when, he, when they arrive at this base, they're just going to fall out of this teleporter here. Awesome. You know what? I really like this. I think it's pretty darn freaking sweet. So I think it's one of the first organic builds that I've really gone to that's used organic with technology merged like this. It does have some sort of feel or appeal to it, doesn't it? You know, land, if you landed your living ship here, that looked pretty darn awesome. You know what? Let's um, let's call in my living ship. Bum bum bum, living ship. Chikapow. Um, let's get rid of this ship. Can I just call my living ship to this platform? Landing pad unavailable. Yeah, dang it. I need to. Okay, that's going to be a lot of fudging around now to get that to happen, isn't it? So if I put that ship there. Is my living ship still there? Yeah, make this one my default ship. Boom. Not that this overly matters, but I, I just want to I just want to stick the living ship on that platform because I, th I think this would look really cool with a living ship on it. And let's put my living ship on there. Boom. And let's get a little photo of that since I spent so much freaking time trying to get that to work. Bang. And let's go into the old camera mode. Oh, I'm already in camera mode. And I was thinking if I swap it around this way so you can see all that organic structure in the background. You see what I mean? That kind of works, doesn't it, you know? It's kind of like a, a living ship platform in a roundabout way, but it has got the technology aspect. But then again, so is the living ship, really, hasn't it? Really cool. I really like it. It's a great little build, this, people. Heck yes. So, yeah, nice one, Maximus 88. Brilliant build. Heck yes. So there we go. So what am I going to be doing next time, though, people? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Ah. Uh, Right, so after this, technically, I've then reached stage two, haven't I? I've then reached stage two, but I might hold off of doing stage two, so I can, you know, I might hold off of doing stage two and see if the update comes around the first week of June, because then I think that's a decent stopping point for me right now, at the start of stage two. Ah, also, I kind of feel that although that I've done this in quite a slow period of No Man's Sky, what I'm finding is I'm not getting too many views on this actual playlist and on these showcases. So if I wait until there is an update and I've done the content for the update, because I'm usually quite quick at doing the content, let's face it, and then I can jump straight back into this, why other people are still hitting up No Man's Sky and still excited for the update. Hopefully I get a few more views and hopefully I can get a few more people looking at this distant world tours is what i'm thinking there is method behind the madness people there is heck yes there is let's jump back over to me with my cup of tea nice one all right i'm still inside a game there yeah, i could just uh take that off the screen for a second actually it can't hurt me just standing there can it at least i can see if i'm gonna die in some freaky storm or something you know what people I'm enjoying doing these and if you haven't got anything else to do and you know the update might not drop in the first week of June I could have it completely wrong it's all speculation so yeah jump on in have a little play see what you think people in the view of us heck yes I'm gonna go finish the rest of my tea but thank you very much for watching and have a very good day take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again